Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we were talking about using Green's theorem for in Calculus 3, 15.4 in our book, uh, to uh, analyze regions that are multiply connected <coughs> by breaking it up. Uh, and we said it was uh, oftentimes useful for discontinuities of the origin. Let's use it for a discontinuity at the origin in our next example. All right, let's jump into it with an example. We're going to look at the function uh, where we have negative y and x as our two vector pieces uh, multiplied by a scalar value, 1 over x squared plus y squared. Uh, so you'll notice at the origin, 0, 0, 1 over x squared plus y squared has a discontinuity. But we're going to show that we can... Uh, Show, find the region and any area around that thing that contains it. <clears throat> the closed line integral on that. <clears throat> For this function, the clo closed line integral f dot dr is 2 pi for any positively oriented simple closed path around the origin. So I drew C1. Uh, it could be any shape. Uh, we could make a giant shape that looked like 2 pi, the symbol. Well, we could make it look like a pi symbol. Going like that. If the origin's right here, we would have it as a, as a pi symbol. That'd be, I should have done that. That would have been cool. <laughs> C is an arbitrary path, though. Uh, and it's so direct computation is difficult. Let's examine a different path a circle around the origin with radius alpha, which will be our C2. Uh, and we need the, it to go clockwise so that the region's on the left. So let's, see what, let's see what that does here. Uh, we've got dg dx minus df dy going around the thing. Uh, F, when we distribute the 1 over x squared plus y squared to our two pieces of the vector, F is negative y over that x squared plus y squared, and G is x over that x squared plus y squared, you're going to see when you work it out that both df dy and dg dx both equal y squared minus x squared on top, and then x squared plus y squared, that quantity squared on bottom. <coughs> I didn't work it out, but I suggest you do so you can see it. Uh, some of you could use improved calculus skills, basic integration with the uh, Uh, where you've got y and x showing up more than once. Uh, so if we plug in df dy and dg dx into our Green's theorem, we're going to show, show that it equals zero. So using that multiply connected regions idea, where we're going to add the two boundaries, the closed integral around the two boundaries, we're going to use that approach here to show that we get 2 pi. <laughs> we know that this equals 0, and it also equals the closed integral around C1 and negative C2, because uh, C2 is going the wrong way. Uh, and that's going to equal our dg dx minus df dy, dA equals 0. We don't like negative C2 going the wrong way, so we will change it. So we're going to use the positive C2 and introduce the negative sign. And since this equals zero, the two different integrals, I can add this integral to the other side. And we're going to show that f dot dr, uh, oh, I don't have the closed integral, closed loop here, uh, showing. <laughs> they both have to equal each other. Because the region dg dx minus df dy over that region equals zero. Okay. We're going to take advantage of this. Uh, we well, The reason why we're not using C1 was because it could be any shape. So finding this one is pain in the ass. But C2 is a circle of radius alpha. And we know how to deal with that. So if we can find the right side of this integral, we'll know the quantity on the left side of this integral. And it should equal 2 pi. That's what we're looking for. That's doable. Let's do it. Okay. So we've got our circle of radius alpha. 
we're going to let r of t equal alpha cosine t and alpha sine t for our x and y components. T is our angle, uh, so it's going from zero to two pi. <laughs> And this is also a region around the origin, the way we've got it written. Okay. <laughs> so we know the closed integral C1 for f dot dr has to equal the closed integral for C2 uh, for f. And we know that integral has to go from zero to two pi. Uh, we're gonna we're doing f dot dr, so f. We're evaluating in RT and DR, we've got R prime of T DT. So let's just figure out what that is and go with it. We've got DR DT listed up here. Uh, let's work it out. F is kind of ugly, uh, but when we switch it to R, R of T, X squared plus Y squared is our radius. And our radius is alpha, so this just becomes one over alpha squared. Uh, and we replace negative Y and X with negative alpha sine T and alpha cosine T since that was our components, X and Y. <laughs> so when we do the dot product of F dotted with DR, we have that. And you will see that gets us sine squared T DT plus cosine squared DT. We're evaluating from that from zero to two pi. I don't have a T in there. I'm missing a T, let's put it in. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. That's our unit circle. Uh, so zero to two pi dt is just t going from zero to two pi, which is two pi. Bam, done. We've got one more video on Green's theorem, wrapping up some ideas at the end uh, on how to remember this. Peace. <laughs>